Alright y'all, we're finally back again and today we're back with the T-Rex 250 and my little brother's newly acquired Yamaha Blaster. We're going to do a little comparison here today, just kind of see see how they do up against each other. I think it's going to be a pretty fair comparison. As you guys obviously know, we got the 254 stroke utility sport conversion and then we have an actual sport quad. But it's not no not no 250R or 450 or nothing. It's it's gonna put up a fair fight. A little air cooled 200 cc two stroke. Jason, you want to kind of go over it a little bit for him? Tell him a little bit about it. Yeah, I got it a couple weeks ago for $1,400. It was a smoking deal. It's a 91 Yamaha Blaster, and I really like this color on it. That's why I decided to get this night and the other just regular blue one or something. But it has bone stock. It's it's just got some different tires on the back of it. it's completely um, OEM front tires and everything else is just about stock yeah this thing is in like mint condition too right now blasters are going anywhere from like 1850 to about two grand and to be able to pick a mint one up like this for 1400 is a smoking deal just put a car rebuild kit in it and I mean everything is absolutely perfect on it got them wicked sun f's on the back of it they hook pretty good turned around backwards but yeah that's about all you need to know what year is this thing again it's a 91 91 Yamaha Blaster. Probably already said that. I just have short term memory loss. But yeah, this thing's pretty wicked. This old blaster here is so factory, so mint that it even still has the factory oil injection tank and all that on there. Everything's plumbed up still and all that. It's just been bypassed because, you know, you don't want one of these to fail on you and then you have your blown up quad there. But yeah, we'll go over Jackson's quad now and then put these two up against each other. All right, and as y'all know, the beloved 1985 Honda TRX 250 four tracks sport quad conversion. You want to go ahead and just kind of telling the few things we've done to it since the last time it's been on camera. Not much. It's about the same as usual. We threw this 450 master cylinder on there. It's a got a moose lever on there. It's a lot shorter than the other one. It's kind of feels nice, but I mean, still ain't got no brake pressure. Yeah, we need some, probably need some new pads on it. Going for like an old school style like graphics kit on this thing. We're gonna throw a couple more little vintage looking figures on there. Also through this moose polished aluminum throttle cap on there. Looks really good. Probably gonna try to find a matching one for this. 450 master cylinder. Those masks are the same. See how it does up against the blasters. I think it's going to be pretty close. Yeah, I think it is too. Forgot to mention, through this number plate on the back of it, because you know, we're just, just race quad like that. You guys probably remember the infamous old school look Klotz Lubricants number plate on the handlebars on the front here. Had a AMA sticker laying around through on there. This thing's never been registered in the American Motorcyclist Association, motorcyclist, whatever, but we can pretend it is. But yeah, that's pretty much all that's changed on the old 250. We're gonna put these two up against each other and see what happens. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and send these two around the JM Performance compound circuit here and see which one lays down the best number. If we have enough time, we'll do a two out of three, but we're just gonna go both once real quick and just kind of see what happens. All right, on you, Jason. <laughs> Got some air right there. It's crazy how much it flies out of the hole too with them backwards during the tractor cars in the back of it. Hopefully you'll get yeah. Yeah, hopefully you'll get the darn Yeah, hopefully you'll get the get the cool right now. I'm excited to see what it'll do though. Here he comes down the straightaway. Yeah, he's definitely moving, that's for sure. He's going to be close to our time. He's going to be close to track record. 54. Wow. I think that's it. We'll have to look back at some old ones, but I'm pretty sure that's, that's pretty daggone close right there. All right, so we'll tell you your time after this, but for right now, we're gonna go ahead and get the 250 out there and just hope that thing stays in one piece. <laughs> Clear out the ruts here that them old Sun F's made. Absolute trenches. Get the 250 pulled up here. We'll go ahead and start it. That thing is so loud with that Amazon pipe on it. See what he does here though they they look pretty similar off the start we'll just 
kind of see what happens there. Really hope the 250 is going to stay in one piece. It's been kind of giving us some carburetor troubles, but we'll just have to see. Sounds like he's using up every bit of that rev limiter. Oh yeah. Okay, what? these things are very similar. You ran, in the day, huh? you ran a 54.14. That, that amount of change can literally just come down to someone's finger not pressing it. And was just, it to its full potential? I was riding the crap out of this thing to be honest. I hadn't, I hadn't even rode back there today though, so I mean. Yeah, a 54 is actually a really fast time for this track. A 56 is, is getting them pretty good. Just think, if that thing's low and wider, if this thing was low and wide, I could take the turns well, way better. So. Yeah. yeah, and you also, you also got to be careful. Them V-style treads can get pretty unpredictable sometimes. Yeah, about um, coming out of that little ring down there or whatever, I about came a wheelie on one of them roots. Yeah, you'd be wheelie, and the next thing you know, you'd be... On the ground. Spinning her around. <laughs> step on that last time or this time whenever he took off I think he almost like missed the shift or didn't get it all the way in gear off the line off the old two step there but uh I hope it's still a Ooh, man he's flying oh his nerf bar fell off oh no fell off what was that time 50 uh, he must have done something or maybe or maybe me that's holy how it's cow there's no way it was that if he didn't cut the track that is another track record lost the nerf yeah did you cut the track or anything no <laughs> what a run <laughs> this is the best i felt on this thing in a while to be honest oh good lord Sorry. holy cow the peg oh my gosh how does it even get like that i don't even understand Look at the look at the boat. The boat is bent. You you think tag a tree or something? No. It may it may have fell off and then kind of yeah, hit been, a rock. It's been like dragging like pretty much. Oh, good lord! I think yeah. it's bent. Holy cow! The yeah, nerves are done. Yeah, I don't think we're, we're running them things anymore today. Mm. Trying to get them off. I believe if you hit them hard enough, that nerve <laughs> bolt will break. I know we do need to get them off though, because there's no way we're. I mean, see, see if you can't just turn and put the. <laughs> it won't like. This is as far as I got. Oh my gosh! This part is bent. Look how close Dude, together it is. I must have. Whenever it, it came off, I must have been coming down on something, like on a jump or something. Oh my gosh! These <laughs> these nerve bars are done. Yeah. Wow. This thing's been on a mini quad, too. Holy cow! I can too. Your one is... peg's about done too. I know. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. You have to go up there and get a... Oh my gosh, the peg's getting worse. Yeah, I don't know. Well, so time weird. for some monster pegs, I guess. I guess. Monster pegs and some Graden Proline 400X Nerf bars. <laughs> well, we're going to try to get these things off and then go ahead and get Jason to go one more time and see if he can get down in that 52 mark as well. Yeah, at least something bad didn't happen, but, you know. Look at them things. Them things have been up. Oh, yeah. Wow. Where'd that even go? Somewhere. Anyways. Wow. Look at that peg. That's supposed to be straight if you didn't know. Them Nerf bars were pretty small to begin with. The old Amazon Tusk Specials. Uh, Tusk is Amazon. Mm, yeah, Amazon. <laughs> oh my god, he just did a second gear power wheelie. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that was actually wicked as crap. Ha <laughs> ha! 
That was cool. Holy cow. Oh wait, that was third because he starts in second. Wow, he just did a third year power wheelie on a stock blaster. <laughs> like how did he even get grip? Oh, he's blind though. Oh yeah, he's fun. Sounds like he slowed down a little bit, but we'll see what happens. That was awesome. What was that time there? Wait, what was what was ran last time? 54? Mm -hmm. 5388 and just getting faster and faster out here. Is that little wheel that picked up right there? Yeah. Was that third or was that second? Third gear? That was third. <laughs> wow. I, 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 wanted to, I wanted to pull up and sit back and I, pull that wheelie. He's a, he's a flat track natural. That's what you do. You get on that back tire. We're wheeling everything out here today. Still didn't get it in that first gear or second, whatever he started in. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like he got slowed down a little bit there. lost it there on that little mud puddle. Oh yeah, what do you run? I beat him by just a little bit. Well, wow. On that one. one. Y'all were almost identical out here. I kind of forgot I didn't have nerves there for a little bit. I was kind of doing a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Y'all were almost identical. Uh, let me run one more, more time because that was about terrible, it felt like. All right, y'all, so we're going to start off with a little time drag race, a little uphill hill climb. Not really, just kind of a little uphill drag race here. We're going to start out with the 250 and see what it runs. All right, he's still going. He passed straight by me and got five seconds. 567. Alright, let's go ahead and see what the blaster will do. What's that about? What? Oh, a 132 mile right here. Alright, y'all, now we got the blaster up on the drag race. We'll see what it does. <laughs> wow, nothing but spinning though. About the same time. About the same time? What did it do? 517? Still about. Okay, 40s. okay. Point forty something yeah. faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would do like best two out of three like we did again, but we're really, really running close on time here. We want to just actually ride here. So, so. you know, the sun goes down, it's January. So it's just kind of like. I know this sun time in on January in the winter months kind of suck. It gets dark about 3 p.m. But, anyways, we're going to come up with another little challenge. And if not, just kind of go out here and rip and, uh, yeah, Wheelie. enjoy these vintage machines. Nobody wants to be 12 o'clock, Jason. So basically for our third and probably final challenge, you'd say, 
basically what the guys are doing is Jason went ahead and started and Jackson is trying to keep up with him all throughout the trails and if he can oh, pass no. it. Sounds like they've just gotten a little, oh, never mind. But yeah, so it's basically just gonna show how good they do in the trails and uh, Jason's just gonna kind of, like I said, be ripping through the trails, kind of kind of going pretty hard through the trails. And Jackson, if he can, he's gonna try to pass them, but if not, see if he can, can't or can keep up with them. So we'll see how this goes. the past but could these things are really close together surprisingly they're two completely different bikes and they are just neck and neck through everything it's really interesting to see put the gap like that I just almost got smoked so I don't really know what's happening here I don't know if Jackson just technically passed him or okay it looks like Jackson's giving him the break and they're going back down into the trails there wow so Jackson ended up making the pass and he is just gapping Jason there we go there we go
a turn right here, aka crap out corner. There's a blaster over there. We're gonna see what happens if he can get turned around. Hurry up! Oh no. Wow, he just made 250 look plumb dumb. <laughs> How it goes, the ribbon. How it goes. He about makes a 450 look plumb dumb too. This little blaster something. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh. Hmm. Maybe this is not the greatest place to stand. <laughs> About makes every other quad on the earth look plumb dumb. Yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what is he doing? No, no <laughs> side by side action. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jason. Let her hang out. Let her hang out one good time. All right, I'll come back around. Wow! Yeah. And he's they in the mud again. Jason's trying to go utilitarian in with it, utilitarian. Yeah, let's, let's, let's scat. Let's get out of here. Um, Jason's got his headlight on. 250 shooting flames. We're ripping. Light the corner, you never played on fire. Oh my gosh, it's crazy the flames this thing shoots. <laughs> All right, so as y'all can see, the sun has entirely gone down. That's just moonlight, if you can't tell. So, what can we assess from today's video? Pretty much, these quads are literally identical, but the quads themselves are two completely different quads. I mean, you got a you got a factory sport quad here. I mean, a factory sport quad. Yeah. Factory sport. Sport quad. This, you know, got a few minor bolt-ons. The T-Rex 250 is an absolute whale compared to this blaster, but it's it's so insane how they're almost identical out here. You know, performing time-wise, staying with each other. I mean, you got a 254 stroke that's got a uh, few just minor bolt-ons. You got a 200 cc two-stroke, both air-cooled. This one bone stock. Like I said, a few minor bolt-ons, and they are almost identical. Heavyweight, big old four-stroke. Lightweight little nimble two-stroke and they're just almost the same But you also got to think how much money do we actually have in modding the 250 versus how much Jason literally just paid for this stock blaster We didn't buy this Jackson kind of it was already in his family, but everything we've spent on mods I mean, you know Amazon's your friend used tires are your friend used wheels are your friend We probably have I mean, I'd say nowhere near a grand in this no, thing We have like 200 bucks in this thing. Yeah performance-wise, maybe even 100 yeah, and say if you went out and bought one this same condition as what it used to be, right now in this market, you'd probably be spending a grand, a little over a grand. If you find good deals on used tires, carbs, basically everything we've done to this, spending extra 200 to $300 on it, that's a $1,400, $1,500 converted sport quad right there. And then you got a $1,400, $1,500 actual sport quad. That's awesome right there. That's, this is a good little comparison. I like this. But anyways, 
If you guys like the video, make sure to hit that like button. It helps these videos get seen by more people. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. And we will see y'all in the next one. It literally even has the factory oil injection tank and everything that comes with it, the cap for it and everything, but it's still been bypassed because you don't want this, you don't want this to fail on you and then you have a stuck with a bone up. Come on, come on.